If you have any information about the identity of the deceased in this video, please contact the New Mexico State Medical Investigator's Office on the telephone at 505-272-3053. The unidentified female was discovered at around 11am on the 5th of June 1991 in a Super 8 motel room in Albuquerque, Bernalillo County, New Mexico, the day after the occupants of the room were expected to check out but had failed to do so, hanging from the shower head in the bathroom. The room had to be broken into by the security guard that discovered her body, as it had been dead bolted shut from the inside. It was determined that about two days prior to her discovery, she had committed suicide by hanging herself from the shower head using a suitcase strap. The deceased was believed to be a Caucasian or Hispanic female between the ages of 25 and 35 years old, standing at 5 feet 7 inches tall and weighing about 140 pounds, with curly hair at 7 inches in length that has been described as strawberry blonde or blonde, hazel or grey eyes, teeth that were in fairly good condition with no work done, and no injuries, scars or tattoos. She was found wearing a Trends brand multicolored tank top of a pink, yellow, red and white tie-dye design, size M6 multicolored bikini underwear in the colours black, green, purple and pink, size 31 guest products by George Marciano brand white denim slacks with zippers, three white metal earrings in which ear was not specified, and a bracelet made from silver or gold coloured metal. At the time of her death, she had heroin in her system. There is no mention of her ever having been pregnant in the autopsy report. Many personal items belonging to the woman were discovered in the motel room. Most notably, these included a photo of herself and a man in a photo booth while she was still alive, shown on screen now. The man in the photo with the suicide victim has never been identified or come forward. Police believe that the photograph was taken, and I quote, just before she died. Also in her possession was a full suitcase from which police believe came the strap she hanged herself with, a dark blue or black suede purse and patterned pocketbook, $500 in cash, various beer bottles, some of which appear to be full and others partially or completely empty, although it is unknown whether or not she died with alcohol in her system, cigarettes, and a digital scale with the name George Martinez written on it. George Martinez may be the man in the photograph with her, although this has not been verified as it is a very common name in the area. Some speculate that it may have been an autograph. All the items found at the scene have since been destroyed by the authorities. The room in which she was found had been rented under the name Eduardo Collin on the 3rd of June 1991, her estimated day of death. When police were able to track down Eduardo Collins' family, after several years of trying, they found that he had died a few years prior. However, the family were able to verify that the handwriting on the guest slip did, in fact, belong to Eduardo Collin, confirming that he was the one who filled it out and paid for the room, but the license plate that he wrote down on the same slip proved to be false. His family were unable to identify the man in the photograph with Jane Doe, or Jane Doe herself. Police believe that she was not local to the area in which she died. They also believe she may have been a prostitute. Theorists believe that the digital scale in her possession was for weighing out drugs, and the $500 she had she may have gained by selling said drugs. Authorities are of the belief that the $500 she had were either obtained by her selling drugs or by prostitution. In the 30 years since her death, no one has come forward to claim this woman, and she is buried without a name. A number of missing people have been excluded as possibly being her. Please check the description for a list of these rule-outs. If you have any information whatsoever about the identity of the deceased woman or her companion in the photograph, please check the beginning of the video again for the appropriate agencies to contact.